Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Cookout on YouTube. Top 5 in 5 today, the top 5 pickups from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Oh, very much so. Tons of very good cards in this set. Yeah. Very much designed with Commander in mind. But before we get to it, don't forget FusionGamingOnline.com, your source for all your Kamigawa needs, new or old. And you can use CCO Spring promo code to get 5% off your whole dang old order. And you can combine that with their deal of the week to get further discounts. You can save up to 25% on stuff you're going to buy anyways. It's not bad. Like it's really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Like a bunch of the cards in the list. Now let's get to it. Number five. The Channel Land Cycle. We all know that Besiju that blows up shit is the best card in the set probably. But I think that it being so good overlooks how good mm. the other four cards in that cycle are. Mm -hmm. All of them, I think, deserve to be played in commander decks. They deal damage, or they pump, or they get back, or they remove, they, they give you dudes, they, they do good stuff. They do all kinds of things, and you don't really lose anything, but a couple of dollars that is obviously offset by the promo code, then you can just replace a basic land. Yeah, because they don't even enter the battlefield tapped. That's right, unless you play, run into a lot of blood moons. Oh man, well, fine. what if you play like Crucible of Worlds and Rune Map Excavator and stuff? Well, you, oh man. You get their effect, then you get them back as a land that doesn't eat to be tapped? Pretty good. Dang. Number four. We're gonna talk more land. Roadside Reliquary. Now this one is on its way up. It's a land that comes into play untapped, taps for mana, and when you're done with it, you can cash it in to draw possibly two cards. I love drawing cards. I love playing land. I love lands that draws me some cards. I love lands that draw more than one card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And That's all you have player. to do is play the deck the way you were going to play it anyway. How is this an uncommon? I'm so happy it's an uncommon. I can tell you're, yeah, that sounded the, the happiest you've ever been. Number three. Ghost Lighter. Ghost Lighter. It's like gaslighting, except for ghosts. Or it's like flesh bagging, except for lights. Yes, it's a Flesh Bag Marauder card that if you've already killed something in the turn, it replaces itself. So it can either act as a Ooh. really good removal spell, or it draws you a card and leaves you with a 2-2 flying body. So if you go Flesh Bagger, then Merciless Executioner, mm -hmm. then Gaslight Ghoster, you can draw cards. That's right, you've killed eight creatures and drawn a card. Oh man, and then if you've got like a creature that says whenever your creature die, draw a card. You draw a card, and you draw eight cards, and you draw another card? Yeah. This card goes in the deck with all those other cards. That's right. That's a good card. We just built the whole deck just now. Number two. This is a funny one. This is a funny one because it's got like a famous prefix. Oh, yeah, it does, It too. does, yes. It's, it's Dark Side Chef. It also has really funny art and a great effect. It's a one-two for one that you can sack an artifact, like a useless blood or clue token, or a creature that you're done with to draw a card. Or you can purposely put artifact lands in your deck. So late game, you can cash those in once you've got like 15 mana on the table because you're playing yeah. jank tribal decks, see previous top five and fives, and you get your card back from your dock side show. And you know, I think that this is the least the least magic card looking magic card from the whole set. It's just a dude, here's some ramen and a bunch of ghosts that are trying to get it. It's it's pretty great. Look, you got an eyeball in there and you got like a boiled egg and stuff. Yeah. Man, I like this guy. I want to meet him. I want to eat at his restaurant and I want to sacrifice stuff so I can draw cards and, and make my magic decks better. Hold the eyeballs. Okay, and the number one dang old card that we think that you should pick up as part of your deck building arsenal. We know what all the best cards are and so do you. What do you got for us? Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I think people are kind of sleeping on this card. It's a three mana saga that's going to net you a 2-2 two -two goblin token that gives you a treasure every time it attacks. Ooh. Now, but there's more. That's worth three mana all by itself. Right? And then on your next turn, you're going to have the option to discard two cards to draw two cards. Now you're making treasures to play cards, and you're drawing additional cards. That's faithless looting. Worth a card all by itself. Yeah, not too bad, right? And then on the third turn you've got it out, it flips over into a Kiki-Jiki Mirror Breaker that costs one to activate, but it's still really good. Fix Kiki-Jiki is still good because it lets you break the rules of commander by giving you more than one of any card he still keeks your jeeks i love getting my keeks jeeked 
Okay, and those were our top five in five Kamigawa Neon Dynasty pickups. If you want to pick any of them up, you head on over to FusionGamingOnline.com and use CCO Spring and save some cash on all the stuff we recommend and anything else that you're going to buy. Anyways, big thank you to all the Patreon supporters over at Patreon.com slash CCO Podcast and big thanks to our Totally Medium Editor. If you want to see a list of all our biggest supporters, you can do it right now. Thank you.